Picture the most advanced supercomputer you can imagine. Now, consider this. The humble slime mold, with no brain at all, can solve complex optimization problems that challenge our best algorithms. In the next hour, we'll discover how nature's problem-solving genius is transforming the way we think about adaptation, innovation, and survival. Deep in the Namib desert, the fog harvesting beetle stands on a dune's ridge. It's back, a masterpiece of micro-engineering, pulls water from thin air, a feat that could revolutionize how we provide water to millions. This isn't just adaptation, this is innovation at its finest. MIT Computer Science Department, these natural solutions aren't just clever, they're transformative. The Beatles' water harvesting system operates with an efficiency our best engineers are still trying to match. And it does this without power, without maintenance, and without waste. Watch a murmuration of starlings dance across the sunset. Thousands of birds moving in perfect harmony, making split-second decisions that ripple through the flock like waves through a neural network. Nature's swarm intelligence at work, solving complex problems of coordination in real time. Stanford Department of Bioengineering. The distributed decision-making we see in bird flocks is revolutionizing how we think about collective intelligence. There's no central control, yet the system achieves remarkable stability and adaptability. In the depths of the ocean, the octopus demonstrates perhaps the most remarkable problem-solving system in nature. Its skin is both sensor and solution, detecting and adapting to its environment in milliseconds, a living example of responsive architecture. Harvard School of Engineering. The octopus shows us how to create systems that are both highly sensitive and incredibly adaptable. Its distributed intelligence challenges our traditional notions of what problem-solving looks like. Consider the termite mound, a masterpiece of climate control. Without blueprints, without engineers, millions of tiny architects create structures that maintain perfect temperature and humidity through principles we're only beginning to understand. MIT Architecture Department. What's remarkable about termite mounds isn't just their efficiency, it's their resilience. These structures adapt to changing conditions through collective behavior that we're now applying to smart building design. In your own backyard, watch how a climbing vine solves complex spatial problems. It reaches, tests, adjusts, and grows, executing a search algorithm more sophisticated than many of our computer programs. This is nature's machine learning in action. Stanford Department of Computer Science. The way plants solve optimization problems is incredibly sophisticated. They're running complex algorithms with minimal energy use and remarkable accuracy. It's changing how we think about artificial intelligence. Beneath the waves, coral reefs demonstrate adaptive problem-solving at an ecosystem scale. These living cities constantly adjust, rebuild, and reorganize themselves in response to changing conditions. They're nature's lesson in resilient system design. Harvard Center for Environment. Coral reefs show us how complex systems can maintain stability through distributed adaptation. Every polyp is both an individual problem solver and part of a larger solution. Watch a desert plant survive the harshest conditions on Earth. Its problem-solving toolkit includes everything from molecular engineering to time management. This isn't just survival, it's strategic mastery of resource optimization. MIT Environmental Solutions, the strategies desert plants use to manage resources are transforming how we think about efficiency. They're teaching us lessons that could revolutionize industries from water management to energy storage. In the Amazon rainforest, lianas solve structural engineering problems that would challenge our best architects. These woody vines create tension-based structures that adapt and respond to changing conditions in real time. Stanford Civil Engineering. The structural solutions we see in climbing plants are inspiring a new generation of adaptive architecture. They show us how to create structures that are both strong and flexible. Consider the human immune system, perhaps nature's most sophisticated adaptive network. It learns, remembers, and evolves, solving complex recognition problems with an efficiency that makes our best security systems look primitive. Harvard Medical School. The immune system demonstrates principles of adaptive problem solving that we're now applying to everything from computer security to pattern recognition. 
It's nature's ultimate learning machine. In Arctic waters, watch how schools of herring solve complex group survival problems. Their collective behavior creates solutions to predator avoidance that emerge from simple individual rules, a lesson in emergent intelligence. MIT Media Lab, the collective intelligence we see in fish schools is changing how we think about problem solving. It shows us how complex solutions can emerge from simple interactions, study a spider rebuilding its web after damage. This isn't just repair, it's real-time structural analysis and optimization. The spider adjusts its design based on available resources, environmental conditions, and past experience. Stanford Materials Science. Spider web reconstruction demonstrates adaptive problem solving at its finest. It combines materials science, structural engineering, and resource optimization in a way that's both elegant and efficient. As day turns to night, watch nature's problem solvers at work in the darkness. Bats using advanced sonar, moths following scent gradients, owls triangulating sound, each species solving complex problems with elegant solutions. Harvard Sensory Biology. The sensory solutions we see in nocturnal animals are pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible in signal processing and navigation. Look closer at a mountain goat navigating a sheer cliff face. Every step is a complex calculation of physics, material science, and risk assessment. This is dynamic problem solving at its most precise. MIT Physics. The way animals solve complex physical problems in real time is transforming our understanding of dynamic systems and motor control. As our exploration of nature's problem-solving genius concludes, consider this. Every living thing around you is constantly solving problems we're only beginning to understand. From the smallest bacteria to the largest ecosystems, nature solutions surround us. These aren't just fascinating examples, they're blueprints for our future. As we face growing challenges in technology, sustainability, and adaptation, nature's problem-solving strategies offer proven solutions refined by billions of years of evolution. Join us next time as we explore how these natural solutions are reshaping our understanding of science itself. Until then, remember, every challenge you face has probably been solved by nature already, you just need to know where to look. The greatest innovations of the future may not come from inventing new solutions, but from finally understanding nature's existing ones. In the end, the most sophisticated technology on Earth might just be life itself.